What's up you guys? Happy holidays! First day! Can you believe it? We're already in the nope. holiday season. Nope. And we're, we're decked out. But as you all know, when holidays roll around at the Disneyland Resort, the best thing to do is eat! All of it. And of course, there's specialty foods at Disney California Adventure, specialty foods at Disneyland. So we are making two videos where we are eating all the specialty foods. Tiff's will have all the food over at Disneyland. And right here, we're gonna eat all the specialty holiday foods in DCA. We've already had seven things today. So we're just gonna keep on <laughs> trucking. I'm getting my Christmas belly, it's fine. All right, made it over to our first stop with the Schmoogies, which always has a lot of holiday fare. But there's one in particular I'm very excited for. Here is the holiday menu at Schmoogies. They have peppermint milkshake, holiday affogato, churro shake. This is what we're getting. It's so at Smoothies, they have this holiday affogato, which is a new word that I just learned today. <laughs> I was just like, ooh, an espresso with ice cream thing. Uh, you can get it two ways, though. This way, you can get it with peppermint ice cream or with brown sugar churro ice cream. Brown sugar cinnamon? Something about that? It was brown sugar cinnamon. And uh, Tiff is allergic to cinnamon. So we got the peppermint one, but it's like, this is wild. This is a lot of ice cream. It's like hot and cold at the same time. I'm excited. Yeah. There's a little bit of like candy cane, like that little crunchy candy cane oh. in the ice cream. Yeah, I'm sure it's like the peppermint like mm. crunch ice cream. Is it like Edie's I think makes it? Mm. That espresso is strong. I'm going to try it. Is the espresso hot? Like, It's kind of lukewarm at this point. Mm. Oh yeah, that is like straight <laughs> like three espresso shots. <laughs> Oh my god. The mint is my favorite like holiday special flavoring. Yeah. I think it's like it's very like the mint is very strong and the espresso is very strong. There's a there's strong flavors all it's, around. Yeah, this if you ate this all alone, I would be shocked. But also you might die. <laughs> we haven't even made a dent in this thing. <laughs> What's happening? Is the ice cream was melting, but like the it's we're looking at like a displacement issue. Are we? Yeah, because well, it's not an issue. Science with Tiff. It's just science, right? So the ice cream. <laughs> Explain was, to me. <laughs> the ice cream was like all the way it's up. Like, uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Have you ever like filled up a bathtub? Yeah. And then when you get in it, and the water like rises. Uh huh. But if you're in it already, it's like if your ice melts in a drink, it doesn't overflow, right? Because the ice displaces the liquid, and so as it melts, like it stays at the same level. That's what's happening now. So it looks like we've eaten all this ice cream, but really it's just melted, and you can the left <laughs> the liquid level is the staying the same, even though we've had oh no so much. Wow! Now that we're hopped up on the three shots of espresso, uh, we're on a mission to Smoke Jumpers because they have some loaded latkes with like old pork on them, and it sounds delicious. I like Oscars. Walking by award wieners. Not really interested in anything here, but here's what they have. They had the gingerbread funnel cake fries last year. But cheesy corn fries might sound good. Maybe next time. Okay, we were really wrong. <laughs> it's not <laughs> pork on the latkes, it's brisket. Um, but it's still meat. Cause you can't, like, <laughs> there's a lot of rules and I don't know all of them but I know that like kosher being kosher, kosher and, and things you pork. can't really have pork and I was like that'd be weird if it was pork and yeah, it's not it's not it's brisket we were wrong <laughs> but it's brisket but I I love a good brisket too so basically these latkes have like chives and a lot of brisket and then a horseradish sauce which Tiff is especially excited for horseradish she's not a fan spicy let's see how much I can like get a brisket and a laka. Also, if you don't know what a laka is, it's a potato pancake. And they're delicious. There's not a whole lot of flavor. Really? It just tastes like potatoes and brisket. <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, I'm not mad about it. That sounds it. exactly like something I would like. But, like, I feel like 
Maybe there's like not enough horseradish, but I feel like the brisket's not really seasoned and neither is the potato. Tries it. Okay. I avoided all of the onions and the horseradish. The whole egg. Oh. Oh. The whole thing tastes like onions. They put a lot. I didn't eat an actual like I think it green was, onion it was, though. I think it was just on there. Like the whole, that's all that I can taste. Are there onions in these latkes? There could be onions in the latkes. I don't like this. She's not a fan. No. This is, it's all the, oh, <laughs> I'm just throwing bread. Wow. It's all the way out in smoke jumpers, which is weird, but apparently this is a festival item. And you can use a sip and saber tab for it, but it's just like way out of the way. Well, we started off strong. <laughs> Laka's uh, hit or miss, but uh, we're gonna head on down to the Cozy Cone because there's a specialty new cone Cocktion For the holidays. We are at Cozy Cone right now for this new cone and I've never seen <laughs> This line so empty Hello, where's everyone at? Here is the new cone for the holidays. It is a chicken pesto cone Everything sounds great here she is, the chicken pesto cone. There's a good amount of cheese on here too, which I'm all for. Also, this weighs like a small infant child. So, it's <laughs> a lot of stuff in here. Tiff also asked, what did you ask? Oh, I asked if you could get it without chicken in case you were vegetarian and didn't want the chicken in it. You cannot. You cannot. It's all, it's all I guess, pre-made and mixed in. So, unfortunately, chicken is there to stay. I can smell it from here. I know. It's like, it smells so nice. All right, I'm gonna take a bite first and try to get all the tomato off because Tiff does not like tomato. I don't like tomato, but I want to try it so bad. Mmm. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. Countdown to Chicken Fusilli. Oh, I love the Chicken yeah, Fusilli. It's like Chicken Fusilli, like in a cone. So like, I want chicken fusilli, but I don't want to go to Disneyland. Oh, it does look, I mean, that's the, it also is just the pasta shape, but mmm, mmm. She bumped. Move the tomatoes. I'm moving it, okay. Listen, I know what I am. Oh, it does smell just like the chicken fusilli. really good yeah it is like the chicken fusilli um there is a little bit of kick yeah there's like a good like spicy kick to like the pesto or something weird what is that i don't know yeah it's like if you were like black pepper i don't know maybe if you took the chicken fusilli gave it a weird little kick and more like pesto because i don't think there's any pesto in the chicken fusilli no. at all so a little bit of a Did different you, what's that one Andrew? i i personally like the tomato added though too I thought there was like a balsamic vinaigrette reduction something. Yeah, there is. If you read the description again, there's like a, I think that's like with the tomatoes is it or like whatnot. On it maybe? Yeah, I think it's just oh. like the top dressing. Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah. I feel like I could get this without the tomatoes on top and I would be stuck. I want to pose a question to you guys because I feel like this is a controversial thing. When you get a cone, do you eat the cone? Yeah. I usually take like three bites and I toss it. I mean, it's hard to eat the whole cone. But yeah. it's like, if it's the same thing if you get an ice cream cone. What's the point of getting the ice cream cone if you're not actively trying to also eat some of well, the Well, I feel like you can, you can opt to get ice cream in a cup where at the cone place, like, it's in the I cone no matter can. what. I bet you can. Maybe, I've never asked, can I get my cone in a cup? Should we find out? So we solved the mystery. Tiff asked if you can get a cozy cone fillings. Not in a cone, but in a cup. And you can! You can. You can do it. But I honestly, even if I don't eat the cone, I just like having it in the cone because it's aesthetically pleasing. It is. Like why, do, I mean just like eating meat out of a cup, I don't know. I mean does it even, does it even make sense to be in cozy cone if it's not in a cone? Come on. Uh, I'm also starting to get shook because it's only four o'clock and the sun is already setting. 
So if it gets um, dark in this video, just know it's just like five o'clock. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. Listen, we're not farmers. We don't need daylight savings. I voted on this in the last ballot. Get rid of it. No, we do. We want daylight savings. Yes, we, we don't want. Like we standard don't. Standard time. Yes. So you got it backwards. We are farmers. Wait. I don't know anymore. I, I don't just know like don't goes. like the changes. Stay light later. If you have watched Tiff's video, we had a very hard time finding this peppermint caramel corn popcorn. And now we're in DCA and apparently they're supposed to have hot chocolate cotton candy. But every cotton candy uh, cart we've been to, they're like, we, we don't know. So it's becoming a situation. It's the exact same thing that happened. But did we find the peppermint caramel corn in Disneyland? I don't know. Go to this video to find out. Made our way over to the Pacific Wharf Cafe for the seasonal soup this year because it's actually getting pretty cool and I can eat soup now. And I'm ready for it. So here is the seasonal soup from the Pacific Wharf Cafe and it is a pumpkin soup. I don't know why pumpkin for Christmas time and <laughs> not the Halloween time celebration, but maybe they're using all the leftover pumpkins from Halloween to make the pumpkin soup. Maybe. Accurate fact. You heard it here. I will say already I put the spoon in. It's a very thick soup. Like I can put the spoon in and it will stand up. Okay, here we go. know what to think about it it's definitely pumpkin but there's also I think like ginger and like lemongrass flavors so I don't know whenever I like taste ginger I immediately go to like sushi and like I don't know Asian palatey flavors I don't know is there cinnamon in this no I can smell like the citrus that you're talking about That's like, that's a, a very robust flavor. Yeah, it's like a lot is happening in this thing. And like, it's not like, it's not a soup, it almost tastes like a filling. It's like a chowder, almost. But th there's not, there's no chunks of anything in it. Yeah, it's, it's just, just. It is very thick. It's pasty. Um, it's really nice, but it, there's. It's a lot, a lot happening. It doesn't yeah, look like a lot is happening, but <laughs> there's like so many things happening in this this concoction. Yeah, I can't pinpoint what it is. Do you taste the ginger? I'm not really getting a ginger. I'm getting like a ginger, gingery lemongrass. You look lemongrass is there. It's very um, florally. I was gonna say earthy. Earthy, yeah. It's a little earthy. Like green milk. <laughs> I mean, green milk is like floral. This tastes like earthy. There's Pumpkins not a come from the earth. To it at all. No, it's not sweet. Um, which is like nice, but that's very different than a butternut squash soup, which I really like. Yeah. I feel like we've been conditioned to like think of pumpkin as like a very sweet kind of thing. Like pumpkin spice and pumpkin. I don't pumpkin. Do pumpkin spice anything. I am well, not yeah. a pumpkin spice fan. Personally, like like pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, it's all, it's all like sweet and then to have this as pumpkin and for it not to be sweet, it's just like a little off-putting. I don't hate it, but I wouldn't get a full, full bowl of it. There is, um, this is part of uh, the Festival of the Holidays, so there's a smaller safe, sip and savor version wow. that you can get, but you have to ha get it with the tabs. Um, so I say, if, I say go ahead and try it, but a full bowl of it is a lot. I would get, I would get the smaller sip and savor portion. It's just, it's, it's so odd, like you said. It's not like there's no like nutmeg. There's no. There's nothing you flavors. associate pumpkin yeah, with. Exactly. It's just like pumpkin <laughs> and like. You're like, oh, I've never had pumpkin like this. Unless you've had like straight up pumpkin soup before, which I don't think I've ever had. I don't either. Maybe your expectations are just weird and wrong. I mean, do you guys associate pumpkins with sweet? I think I feel like I do. 
Yeah, I don't know, it's weird, man. All right, so we stopped at Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta for this holiday pizza. This looks insane. Here it is, the holiday dinner pizza. Basically, there is uh, turkey, mashed potatoes, bacon, vegetables, and cranberry sauce. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is wild. Go, Here we go. Oh my god, this is heavy. <laughs> it looks very hefty. Ooh. Oh, there's also like gravy. Oh yeah, wait, no, it said gravy. Yeah. Is it like the sauce on the bottom gravy? No, it's just a lot of potatoes, but I taste the gravy now. Weird, but like good weird. Yeah? I like it. How is it compared to the Thanksgiving sandwich? I mean, it, it tastes more like a pizza, but like with the flavors of <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's good. <laughs> it just smells like regular pizza. Yeah, I mean the like the pizza bread is like very like flavorful in general. I feel. It's a lot of potato. It somehow does still taste like pizza. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like really it's like weird. It still tastes like pizza, but it's like, there's no sauce, there's no cheese. It's like the bread is, the crust is just very distinct. I think the crust is distinct, and what I think is happening, I think the cranberry sauce is giving you a little bit of the sweetness that you get from a tomato sauce. Yeah. Except it's cranberry, not tomato. So, because of that in the bread, which is bread feels the same that they do on all other pizza. Yeah, but you can tell like there's like seasoning on like yeah. the crust. It's very like a distinct seasoning. God, this is good. Yeah, but it's like weird. It's like a mind trick. It's like look, I'm eating pizza, but there's no elements of pizza other than crust. I feel like the good thing about this is you see like just one slice, but one slice is very filling because there's so many like there's mashed potatoes and turkey and like so many different like filling toppings like hearty toppings that like if you just get a slice of cheese I don't think it would fill you up as much. Here's how I feel about this. I feel like pizza in general at Disneyland is like the least value oh, yeah. you get of any food item. Oh yeah. It's, like, always like nine dollars and it's just like a normal pizza where i feel like this is completely justified because i think it's 8.99 yeah maybe but plus feels, like ap discounts like seven something yeah this is like great value for a slice of pizza versus like a pepperoni slice in there that's yeah. like very the same whatever. thing <laughs> yeah but this is great yeah she a winner well holiday pizza was definitely a great success I'm so full. We're just leaving the crust because, y'all, yeah, we've eaten in so much today. All right, so we officially given up on this hot chocolate cotton candy. We hit literally every cotton candy stand DCA. No one knows what we're talking about. Truly, don't even know what we're talking but about. But it's it's on the food guide online, so I maybe it will show up here eventually. They have like the peppermint one. They have the snowflake one, which is just I don't know printed snowflake paper. I don't think it tastes um, like anything, but hot chocolate is yet to be found. So we're probably gonna, I'm gonna probably get some peppermint cotton candy just cause I haven't had that either. They don't have it here though, they're sold out for sure. No. Well there's one down there. <laughs> our mission was a success. There's our baby. Look at it, it's also shaped in a like Christmas tree shape. I've been carrying it around, I feel like I have <laughs> to like cradle it so it doesn't like flop over. Peppermint cotton candy, it's like, I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting, but it's like semi green and then white. I'm getting way more gnome vibes than Christmas, <laughs> than Christmas. tree, to be honest. Well, it's a little floppy, but... Our baby gnome cotton candy. Here we go. Oh. Oh. It just smells like cotton candy. It doesn't smell like peppermint. Weird. I wonder if the green will be like peppermint and the white's like not. The green is cotton candy. I, I taste no peppermint. Hold on, we going for the white. Maybe the white's peppermint. No. Oh. Huh? Yeah. The white has like... It's like this white cotton candy sat next to a peppermint and like that's it. 
Like an aftertaste. It like should not be called peppermint cotton candy, I feel. I feel very cheated. I feel like we've had like overpowering peppermint and then just like the slightest like hint. This is not, no, no. This is regular cotton candy, y'all. It's literally what you said, like, if you took cotton candy and set it next to peppermint for like a day, and it like, and it was like, absorbed mm, that like smell. Not but even. like that, that much, you know? It tastes like the sweetness of a candy cane without the mintiness of it. Yeah, I'm getting no mint. Like, so a peppermint, like a peppermint candy can be quite sweet. I'm now wondering how overhyped I'm hyping the hot chocolate cotton candy now. <laughs> Like, is it gonna taste like hot chocolate? I mean, or is it just gonna be like a hint of like whatever this is? At least chocolate is a more... Prominent flavor. It's a, yeah, it's a lot different from regular cotton candy than like the sweetness of a peppermint. Yeah. It does have the flavor of a peppermint without the mint, which is different, a Wait. little different than normal cotton candy. Yeah. It just all tastes like vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar. But it's in a gnome shape, so. And now you have a million of it. Festive. Well, that is it. I think we officially made it into a food coma. I we want to sleep so bad. So much food, so much food just in DCA. And also we ate so much food over at Disneyland on Tip's channel. So check that out after this video. Like we barely scratched the surface. There's a full food guide, not even including uh, festival of the holidays at DCA, so. It's a million things, I counted. Lots more food to eat. Huge thanks to everyone for watching and my Patreon supporter Chase for supporting me this month. If you guys wanna learn more about my Patreon, link will be in the description. Check out this video, we ate so I'll be much. In the description too. So much food, so much food. Uh, and we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye.